hello. Three days ago, Microsoft launched his last OS, Windows 10. It was announced with drums and expected by many. Today, I decided to give it a try and to show you how you can download it for free and install it on your computer. Stay tuned for another great tutorial made by UsefulTutorial.com. First I will show you how you can download an ISO image of Windows 10 for free. For that you will need to open an internet browser and go to this address. Don't worry, you will find all the links in the description of the video. Here you will find the tool created by Microsoft to help you download any edition of Windows 10. As you can see, before you begin they are telling you that you will need a serial key to install it. But stay relaxed, you don't need one. You can install it without a serial key, I will show you how. Scroll down the page and choose the version you need for your system, 32 or 64 bytes. This is not the version of Windows, it is the version of the tool used to download the ISO image. So make sure you choose the right one for you. Save the file somewhere on your computer. Remember that location, because you will need it later. I've saved the file on my desktop. Next, you can close the browser window and you have to open the file you've just downloaded. Double click the file to open it and confirm the action when the user account control window appears. On the first screen you have two options, to upgrade the current PC or to create an ISO for further use. It is better to create the ISO image and to install or upgrade your PC later. Next, you need to choose the language for your Windows installation, the edition and CPU architecture, 32 or 64 bytes. Remember that if you have more than 4 GB of RAM installed on your PC, you need the 64 bytes Windows. Other way that you will not use all of your memory, because 32 bytes Windows can see a maximum of 3.76 GB of RAM. Here you can choose if you want to save the ISO file or to make a bootable USB. Again, it is better to save the ISO, because later you can make any bootable media, USB or DVD. I will choose to save the ISO file, once again on my desktop. Now the files needed are downloaded. Depending on your internet connection, this may take a while. The image is 3.1 GB large so you can do the math according to your internet speed. After download, the image is verified for integrity. This operation can take some minutes, depending on your system performance. When the verification is complete, the Windows 10 ISO image is created. Now, you have the ISO image needed to install Windows 10 on any of your computers. Click finish to close the window. Now I will show you how you can install the new Windows 10 without having a serial number. You need to burn your image on a DVD or to make a bootable USB. I will install Windows on a virtual machine, in order to record the screen for you. More than that if you use a virtual machine you don't have to damage your current OS. After creating your removable media, USB or DVD, you need to boot from it and to follow the steps on the screen, as you can see here. Choose your desired regional and language options and click the next button. Click to install now and the setup process is started.
In the next step, you will be asked to enter the serial number. If you already bought the license, you can enter it. If you don't have one, you can press the little skip link at the bottom of window. On the next screen, the Microsoft licenses shows up. You can read it if you have a lot of time. Or you can just check the box to accept it and next to go to the following step. If you don't accept the licenses, you can't go further. Here you can choose to make a system upgrade or to install a fresh new system. I don't recommend to anyone system upgrades, because they always leaves bugs and corrupted programs. On this screen you can make hard disk partitions. Keep in mind that Windows will automatically create an additional 500 megabyte partition, reserved for the system. Do not delete that. Click OK to create the partition. Select the first large portion, primary, and click next to install Windows on it. For best performance you should have a partition over 80 GB large. In this way, you will have the necessary space for later updates. Now the Windows is installing and you will have to wait until it finishes. On the setup process two or three reboots will be required. First reboot is required after finalizing the step installing updates. Make sure not to boot from removable media again. On this screen, do not press any button. Now the setup process is continued and it will take some time, depending on your system performance. On my virtual machine with an i3-3217U processor at 1.8 GHz and 8 GB of RAM, it took me more than 10 minutes. Another reboot. And now, you will be asked again to enter the serial number of your license. You can enter a serial number if you have one or you can just press the do this later link at the bottom of window. Here you can customize your Windows settings, or you can just use the express settings. You can change all that later from system settings in Windows. Here you need to wait for the settings to be applied. It will take a while. In the next screen, choose your desired username and optionally a password for that account, and click next. For safety reasons you should always have a password for your account, one that is hard to guess. After that all you need to do more is to wait for the setup process to finish. You will see a few screens with messages telling you that it won't take long. But in fact, you will wait approximately 5 minutes. Don't shut down your PC until it is done. And here it is the new Microsoft Windows 10 with a new fancy menu. And some great useful options. I will try in the next tutorials to show you some of the best things about this Windows. Until then, thanks for watching this and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and to visit my website. www.usefultutorial.com